If you're looking for the best microphones for recording drums, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the At the first position of our list, we have Act 112 MKI Professional Bass Drum Microphone. The Act 112 has a reputation as the best kick drum mic ever made. Countless records have been recorded with this dynamic mic, and it has been used by top producers such as Steve Albini, Roy Thomas Baker, Steve Churchyard, Bob Clear Mountain, Elliot Shaner, Butch Vig, and more. The new Dun 112 MK Roman II keeps the same sound and quality of the original Dun 112 but adds an integrated flexible mic mount. Its tight and solid low end is complemented by a narrow band presence boost at 4K HC that punches through dense mixes. Because of this built-in act boost, mixers and producers find it frequently requires no additional act to sound solid and punchy. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Shure SF57 LC Cardio Dynamic Instrument Microphone. The Shure SF57 is undoubtedly the best value for any microphone available, and it's certainly one of the best-selling mics in the world. First released in 1965, it quickly became a must of mic for guitars, vocals, drums, horns, and more. And priced under $100, it is a world-class mic with an incredibly budget price. Though the SM57 is more often known as a guitar mic, it's a favorite mic choice for snare drum, preferred by top producers such as Steve Churcher, Bob Clear Mountain, Mike Hedges, John Leckie, Elliot Shaner, Chris Thomas, Tony Visconti, and more. It excels in handling high sound levels that can damage more delicate condenser mics. This makes it ideal for miking snare drums. The number 3 position is held by Sennheiser Professional E604 Compact Dynamic Cardio and Instrument Microphone. Recording a full set of toms gets pretty expensive using the industry standard mics. The Sennheiser S604 delivers comparable performance for a third of the price of an MB421 or Re20 mic. In fact, you can get three of them for less than the price of one MB421 or Re20. The S604 compares favorably with the MB421 as far as sound goes. It should, as the S604's capsule is the same as in the higher-priced MB421. However, the overall feeling from S604 owners is that while the S604 is great on toms, but is kind of a one-trick pony. The MB421, however, has more features and can be used to record many different instruments with great results. But, if you're only looking to use it to record toms, the S604 would be your best bet. One nice bonus is that the S604 includes a drum clip that mounts to the rim of the tom. This saves having to purchase mic stands. Next at number 4 we have Rode and T5MP Compact Cardio Condenser Microphones. Drum overhead mics are a crucial part in getting a great drum kit sound. A carefully placed pair of overheads can provide the right sound and balance without any other mics being used. Just listen to those early Led Zeppelin records recorded with only two Bayer Dynamic Mo 160 mics as overheads. It's no wonder then that many hit records are cut with a pair of new Menu 87s, Bayer Mo 160s or Cole 4038s on the drum overheads. Unfortunately for most home recordists, a pair of these mics are way out of the budget. The Rode and T5 matched pair of mics is a great solution for users on a much smaller budget. No, you won't get the same lush sound as a pair of U87s, but you will get an excellent drum sound that will make your drum tracks come to life. The number 5 position is held by Samson C2 Pencil Condenser Microphones. Depending on the style of music, many engineers and producers do not mic the hi-hats separately, relying on the overheads to pick them up and get a good balance. For home recordists, however, having a separate hi-hat track is really beneficial, so I've included a very low-cost mic that will provide that flexibility at mix time. The Samson Kopwo is a pencil-style small diaphragm condenser mic that is sold in pairs. They are designed for recording drum overheads, hi-hats, and other instruments. Sound on Sound magazine found the mic provided a fairly accurate, detailed, and well-balanced sound. The number 6 position is dominated by Sennheiser and 902 Cardio Dynamic Mic. Sennheiser and 902 is the updated of the well-known S602 which will be covered later. Sennheiser and 902 responds to the source really quick and can pick up the low end really clean. It can deliver the attack and the energy of kick drum faithfully. It has a good sound isolation and a high resistance to feedback which is very useful for drum recording and live performance. 
Although the Max SBL doesn't state in its official website, its Max SBL is high enough to handle any kick drum sores. Sennheiser S602 Roman 2 sounds very similar to Sennheiser A902 but not as amazing as Sennheiser A902. It still has all the top features of Sennheiser A902 but less expensive. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Onyx D6 Dynamic Microphone. Onyx D6 isn't for everyone but some people will love it. The special VLN diaphragm is very light which makes it respond quicker to the attack. This results in a crisper and puncher sound. Some people love it but some people think it's too much. There is a 14 dB boost at 60 HC, a 15 dB boost between 4 and 5 Ks, and a 70 dB boost between 10 and 12 Ks. This response is ideal for 22 kick drums. Most of the time positioning is the key of capture a good sound, but Onyx D6 claims it sounds good from any position. It's a good news for beginners who don't have much knowledge of positioning. The number 8 position is held by Shure Beta 52 Super Cardio Dynamic Kick Drum Microphone. This is another popular kick microphone beside Act 112 MKI. They are both tailored for bass instruments and both have a presence boost at 4 Ks. Cheer Beta 52 has a rich and clear low end. The Super Cardio Polar pattern gives it excellent sound isolation but also make it relatively harder for positioning. Cheer Beta 52 can handle any loud sound even a nuclear bomb because of its unbelievable high max SBL of 174 dB. Next, at number 9, we have Sheer Beta 91 half Cardioid Condenser Kick Drum Microphone. This may look weird, but it sounds really great. Sheer Beta 91 is a condenser boundary microphone with an integrated preamp. It has a special half cardioid polar pattern, cardioid in hemisphere above mounting surface. The typical placement is put it directly in your kick drum and let it sit inside your kick drum. It will capture the sound faithfully. Unlike most condenser microphones, Sure Beta 91 has a high max SBL to handle loud sound without damage it. Its excel at picking up low frequency, the attenuation switch can remove the muddy sound of the kick drum. Sure Beta 91 is widely used in professional studios. The sound quality of this microphone is definitely worth the investment. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Sure Beta 50 Savina Super Cardio Dynamic Microphone. If you have extra few bucks and want to invest something more decent on your snare drum, you can consider Sheer Beta 50 Savina. The biggest difference between tone microphones is Sheer Beta 50 Savina features a specially designed grill which gives it more protection but also facilitates the use of proximity effect. The biggest pain of capturing snare drum is rejecting hi-hat bleed, and this is why Sheer Beta 50 Savina is better than Sheer SM57. The super cardioid polar pattern can reject most of the hi-hat and cymbals bleed. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.